Usually an ICC event starts when minnows like UAE, Netherlands, Namibia or Scotland are out of the Super 12 race. But this year everything is different. as the minnows or should we call the giant killers have arrived at the party in the very first match namibia thrashed asian champions sri lanka then scotland got the better of west indies and now they are even topping the points table in today's match the star of the day for uae was kartik mayappan who took a brilliant hat trick for his side against sri lanka uae leg spinner removed in form sri lanka batter Bhanuka Rajpaksha, Charit Aslanka and their captain Dasun Chanaka. In the end, Asia Cup winner were restricted to just 152 runs. If UAE pull off a win, Sri Lanka will find themselves in a do or die situation. Can you believe it? We are just in the first week of a World Cup and a team like Sri Lanka is about to get knocked out. Moving forward in the first match of the day, Netherlands defeated Namibia to claim their second win in two matches. Currently Netherlands are sitting at the top of the group while Namibia are second. On the other hand, Scotland have won one game and the same is the situation with Zimbabwe. Interestingly, two-time World Cup winner West Indies and 2014 T20 champion Sri Lanka are wooden spooners in this points table. Meanwhile, Indian fans will be waiting for Team India's second warm-up match which will be against New Zealand at the Gaba on Wednesday. We will take you through all the updates from that game as well. But till then, stay tuned with Z News. Dear Mr. CM, while you're not surprised or even remotely shocked as our Betis get killed, Russia reclaiming the position USSR had. If uh, Moscow is controlling Ukraine, it is knocking at the door of European Union. Atrocities against the entire nation continues in Ukraine. Who is the better batsman between India's Virat Kohli and Pakistan's Babar Azam? Is there a Hollywood film next? I hope, because of the hashtag boycott Bollywood forever trend. In a major boost, India inducts LCH helicopters to counter China and Pakistan threats. 5G surge 